Mali, in West Africa, is one of the world's poorest countries. Its healthcare system is struggling. Mothers and children are the most vulnerable. It is in this world that Samba So grew up. My dad was a driver and my mom was a social healthcare worker. There was no electricity, no portable water then, and nothing else. You know, no money and uh, it was tough. I'm sorry. It was really tough. Even though his childhood was difficult, Samba had big dreams. We told my mom that I should start medicine here in Bamako. I became doctor very early, at the beginning of uh, year six. He was awarded a scholarship from the World Health Organization to study epidemiology at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. <laughs> Afterward, he returned to Mali's capital, Bamako, and taught epidemiology at the medical school. Then vaccines came into the picture in a big way. Gavi, the Global Vaccine Alliance, was offering vaccines to countries to help address communicable diseases, especially those diseases killing children. It comes to a question, how about Mali? How about West Africa? Where are the data? There was no data for Gavi to use to introduce those new vaccines. Gavi established a lab to conduct surveillance to generate data showing the disease burden. Samba was selected to start this operation together with CBD at the University of Maryland. Doctors thought malaria was the biggest killer of children. But was it really? Dr. So and his team identified a more prevalent problem, Haemophilus influenza type B bacteria, or Hib, which is a bacterial infection and its most common symptom is fever. We then said that we need to share this data with the country leaders. We started with the Minister of Health. When the Minister of Health learned of the mistaken diagnosis and the number of hip infections, she called the nation's president. President Amadou Toumani Touré, His Excellency Amadou Toumani Touré, he was called a friend of the children. And then he was shocked. So when we explained to him that there is a possibility to get vaccines, and that's how you do it, through the Gavi system, he didn't give up. He said, let's do that now. And he was even, I'm ready to pay now to stop these killing pathogens. Less than two months later, shipments of Hib vaccines began arriving in Mali. And with international partners, Samba and his colleagues started immunizing young children. The results were astonishing. The reduction for Hib was about at least 80% reduction for deaths and 88% reduction for hospitalization due to him. It's a huge impact, huge impact. Samba So is considered a hero by many in Mali. Earlier this year, the current president called him to serve as the Minister of Health. By running CVD for over a decade, I really learned a few things. Data. No data, you are like blinded. So we train the hospital doctors and nurses. Not how to take temperature, no. Train them, bring the philosophy, the importance of recording, completing patients' charts. Avec l'analyse de ces données-là, ça va nous permettre de connaître les germes essentiels qui ont causé et, et certaines maladies. Donc, si on fait ces analyses-là, 
data has become an integral component of health policy and health planning in Mali. It is evidence-based, it's data-based, it's data coming from the ground, locally, by Malians, with Malians. Dr. So also contributes to the improvement of health metric sciences as a member of the Global Burden of Disease Collaboration. Now that we have opportunities to have institutions and systems like uh, Global Burden of Disease, so we, we will have to take that opportunity to strengthen our national system, to uh, question our own data by looking at other data from other places and multiply CVDs around Africa to generate good data. We have shown clearly in three years that if you do surveillance, you demonstrate a high disease burden, and then you maintain surveillance, you introduce vaccine, and you improve some knowledge and skills at the clinic so that they can collect right data, you can save lives. Even though you know, we are poor, you can still see love around, you can still feel home once you are in Mali.